Jimmy Donaldson is the everyday civilian name of the social media titan and influencer most of us probably know best as Mr. Beast. Now he's a content creator whose YouTube channel has exploded in popularity over the past few years, largely off the back of a series of very expensive, not to mention creative stunts. Hard as it may be to believe now, well, Mr. Beast comes from some very humble beginnings, having been raised primarily in a suburban household in Greenville, North Carolina. Now today he's worth over an estimated $100 million, but he's still living in a relatively modest home in the same general area as to where he grew up. Now, before we go a little deeper into exploring Mr. Beast's actual house, I want to provide you all with some context as to where this home is located because Mr. Beast didn't just buy any old house in any old neighborhood. No, he bought himself a house in an area of a town that he's been slowly purchasing for years. That's right, on an unassuming cul-de-sac just southeast of Greenville, North Carolina, well, Mr. Beast has been scooping up one home after another for himself and his family and his employees. According to the New York Post, well, Jimmy's house buying endeavor, it began with the purchase of his own unit for a paltry $320,000 back in 2018. And over the next handful of years, well, Jimmy would continue to discreetly add to his real estate portfolio, bringing his current grand total of properties located on the street to five. Now, according to records, well, he bought the second home in 2020 for $263,000, followed by an additional three other properties, all of which were bought off market for a combined total of $1.45 million. Now, of those individuals who sold their home to Mr. Beast is a man named Aaron Bowden. Now, Aaron, he came to an agreement with Jimmy in 2022, and he told the New York Post, we negotiated back and forth, and it had to be worth my while, and he wasn't going to buy if it wasn't worth his while. Even after securing five homes, well, Jimmy still has one last property left to buy on the street. But according to Aaron, well, it's rather unlikely Mr. Beast will be able to add this property to his growing collection because the children who live there have yet to complete their education at the nearby school. Now, Aaron, he continued to the New York Post. It's the best school district in the area and they have kids in school. I wouldn't know anything for a fact because I don't walk in their shoes, but they may change their minds when their kids are out of high school and off to college. In terms of the here and now, well, it has been confirmed by Jimmy's representation that his residence in this neighborhood will become his home base for this foreseeable future. Now, whenever he's not busy traveling for work or shooting out of his studio nearby, that is. So why don't we take a closer look at what's inside Mr. Beast's new home. In 2022 alone, Variety reported that Mr. Beast, he earned an estimated 54 million. He then used a not insubstantial amount of that money to buy a handful of suburban properties. But here's the surprising thing. They're all kind of mid, especially Jimmy's. Following a burglary in his previous home, well, Jimmy bought his two-story, four-bedroom, four-bathroom property that occupies nearly 3,000 square feet back in 2018. Now inside the house, it boats the kitchen that features new newly installed granite countertops, along with a breakfast bar, kitchen table, and a pantry. There's also a nearby family room that comes complete with a gas log fireplace, as well as huge windows that allow for plenty of natural light. Now elsewhere on that same level is the primary suite, which includes an ensuite bathroom with a double vanity, as well as a whirlpool tub and a shower. Meanwhile, up top on the second floor, where you'll discover the other three bedrooms, their corresponding ensuites, as well as a laundry room and an extra space that can be converted into an office or a Den. Now outdoors, well, the place is modest, but far from spectacular. Now amenities, they're said to include a screened in rear porch, a patio, a basketball court, and even a separate storage building for all those props and collectibles Mr. Beast has no doubt accumulated over the years. Now once Jimmy had completed the purchase of this home, well, he began quietly buying up the surrounding properties. Now some of the people he bought from had lived in this neighborhood for their entire lives. Others had been there for just about a year, but the three families that capitalized by selling their home for a couple combined 1.45 million, well, they have now all retired to the beach or elsewhere in the surrounding area. None of them seem to be too displeased over what happened either. Now others, however, well, they've had more of a mixed reaction when they found out about Mr. Beast going full Mr. Rogers and starting his very own neighborhood. Now once the wider world at large found out about Mr. Beast's brand new town, many of them had thoughts. Now some praised the content creator's generosity, not to mention his genius, carving out his own little corner of the planet to share with the people closest to him. 
Others, though, they accused him of starting a company town. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with the term, well, a company town is a place where residential and retail property is all owned by the employer of the people who live there. Now, this is criticism that Elon Musk has faced with the recently, uh, well, proposed towns he's building for his Tesla and SpaceX employees, which is located out in Texas. Now, these types of settlements, they've popped up over the years, generally in the coal, steel, and lumber industries. And historically speaking, well, they've been found to repress an employee, you know, like their working conditions, their rights. So that's why there are some who are now wondering if Mr. Beast is going to stop short by just securing himself an entire neighborhood. I mean, what if he wanted to buy an entire state next? Now, of course, with questions like that being thrown around, well, it didn't take long for this entire discourse to become so outrageous that a frustrated Mr. Beast, well, he responded by suggesting that only he could be canceled for trying to give people a place to live without any strings attached. Now, as far as he's concerned, well, Jimmy, he was just trying to help and he doesn't understand why what he's doing is being characterized by some as culty. Now, one of the people that he wanted to help and who's now living in a home Jimmy bought is his childhood friend and recent headline magnet, Chris Tyson. Now, Chris has his buddies back just like how Jimmy had his throughout the entire hormone replacement therapy news cycle, even if it was a tongue-in-cheek sort of way. Now, Chris obviously isn't serious about moving out of his new neighborhood and why would he? Until he starts hearing rumors about how Jimmy is suddenly hiking up everyone's rent while also forcing them to shop at retail outlets he secretly is the owner of. Well, what are we really complaining about here? I mean, is it any surprise that a man who wants to help the near blind see again might also want to provide for those people who support him the most? I, for one, I'm looking forward to see what Mr. Beast turns this neighborhood into over the next few years, not to mention how it eventually comes to impact the content he creates. Now, years from now, we might look back at this moment as a turning point in his career for good or for bad. Now, until we know for sure, I guess we'll just have to wait and find out. I guess that'll bring us to the end of our latest edition of House Tours here on Famous Entertainment. Before I leave you guys, I do have a question for you. Who's the first person in your inner circle you'd gift a home to if you owned an entire neighborhood? I'm sure Kara would have given a house to that dog. So that's what came to my mind. Actually, send some love and support to Kara. She's Kara the Vampire Slayer over on Instagram and uh, send her some hearts because she's just devastated with the loss of her Shiro. And uh, if you guys know us, if you're if you're if you've been following us for years you know that dog meant everything to both of us anyways guys my name is michael mccrudden thanks for bearing with me on this channel i don't often host uh you know house tours but um i'm happy to be here and sometimes they tag other videos at the end so let's do ariana maddox house tour if you guys are still here all right i'll see you guys in another video oh they might be freshly on the outs right now, but back in 2019, Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval agreed on one thing when it came to purchasing their soon to be Los Angeles love pad. Place needed to have a wow factor. These former West Hollywood bartenders turned veteran reality TV stars decided to wisely save up their money following pairing off with one another while starring in the popular Bravo series Vanderpump Rules. In fact, this former duo saved so much so fast, they were able to shell out just over $2 million for a newly built family-sized farmhouse style residence situated in the increasingly pricey neighborhood of Valley Village. Boasting five bedrooms as well as five and a half baths, this 4,453 square foot home offered its new owners plenty of room to share with their famously hard partying castmates and co-workers from the popular West Hollywood eatery, Sir. Set into a shallow porch located next to a two-car garage, the front door to Ariana's home boasts a rib glass accented front door that opens directly into an open concept living and dining room boasting 10 foot tall ceilings, honey colored wide plank wood floors, a petite fireplace and an accent wall that was originally painted in a dark shade of charcoal. As for their kitchen, it was designed with a kosher diet in mind, which means it boasts three sinks, two dishwashers, and two ovens alongside a marble topped center island snack bar. On the opposite side of the setting is a family room with stacked stone fireplace situated between some built in open shelves. Meanwhile, a 16-foot wide bank of floor-to-ceiling glass sliders slip into the nearby wall to merge the expansive space with the backyard. In addition, there's also a small office as well as an ensuite guest bedroom located on the main floor. The rest of the bedrooms and private bathrooms that boast snazzy custom tile all live on the top floor, along with the master suite. 
This is made up of a spacious bedroom with a fireplace, a lavish marble bathroom boasting a hair and makeup vanity, as well as two fitted walk-in closets, perfect for a couple that no doubt considered themselves to be the definition of fashionable. Completing the picture is a partly trellis covered gray stone patio that stretches across the full width of the back of the house, while overlooking a flat, grassy, private yard with a built-in grilling station and a swimming pool. After moving into their home in 2019, about two years later, Ariana Maddox and Tom Sandoval graciously invited People Magazine inside for an exclusive look at their newly decorated masterpiece, where they managed to incorporate both of their opposing styles, with a little bit of help. Tom told BravoTV.com, I feel like normally when it comes to decor in a house with a guy and a girl, it can be very like, okay, the girl just kind of does everything. Everything. The guy is like, I just added this one thing. But we obviously both have very strong personalities. You see a nice mix of Ariana and myself in there. To bring their vision of a serene paradise to life, Ariana and Tom teamed up with interior designers Lucinda Pace and Andrew Panzer of Concept XL, as well as exterior designer Elizabeth Montgomery of Box Hill. After discussing plans with both homeowners, the designers quickly figured out that Tom's style is a lot swankier and in desperate need of that wow factor. Meanwhile, Ariana's taste is a bit more subtle with her gravitating towards an organic, eclectic vibe. That isn't to say these two couldn't find anything to agree on and a few eye-catching items sprinkled throughout their home became common ground. For instance, the couple owns a giant Timothy Olton mirror that has crystals that go all around it, giving the effect of an infinity mirror. Both Ariana and Tom love to stare into its never-ending glossy abyss. The couple also bonded over replacing their former light fixture over the dining room table with what appears to be a giant piece of chain link instead. They even installed some unusual snake curtains in here as well. Turns out Ariana is a big fan of the kind of drawings of plants and animals that appear in encyclopedias. To her, those curtains embody that. She explained to People, this fabric was like a combination of that nature drawing look with almost a Gucci feel. It was really hard to get this fabric and then we had to have someone make it into curtains for us. It took forever, but there was nothing that compared to it. Well, to complete the look, the couple had to settle on which table best served the space. Tom had an out of right field type idea, but Ariana wound up getting her way with a restoration hardware table that provided a minimalist counterpoint to what's otherwise a house leaning towards being maximalist. They're also happy with their choice of breakfast table, buying an oval shaped one that's been paired with black and gold chairs. But for decor, Tom chose to display a series of bizarre items, including a cannibal fork, an emu egg, penis flutes, and a saber-toothed cat skull that Ariana was not a fan of. As they bickered with one another, another unexpected item of Tom's drove Ariana crazy more than any other, a painting of actor James Earl Jones. Yes, the man who provides the voice of Darth Vader in Star Wars. At the very least, these two both appear to love their bedroom, the one space in the entire house where Ariana says she spends the most of her time, and who can blame her? It features a custom-made latte bar equipped with an espresso machine and milk frother that Tom would put to work every morning to make coffee for Ariana. As another little treat, Tom also came up with the idea to provide more closet space for them by knocking down a wall between their their bedroom's closet and the separate linen closet to create the ultimate dream wardrobe. Once they had their house looking the way they wanted it, Ariana and Tom planned on inserting a few more additions, including more plants and a bar hidden behind a moving bookcase. Tom described this idea to people, telling them, you'll pull a book and it'll open up. Then the bar will feel like you left and went to a different place. They also drew up plans for a gate and exterior entrance door, but before they could complete any of that, everything fell apart instead. Ariana Maddox and her partner Tom split apart four years after moving in together, following his secret affair with their fellow co-star Raquel Levis. Tom and Raquel were allegedly planning on telling Ariana the truth for weeks about their months long affair, but instead, the heartbroken reality star found out on her own by snooping through Tom's phone. Once she discovered what he had been keeping from her, the pair split. But, and this is a big but, but they're still living together and sharing the same house, even though tensions between the two remain thick. Tom spoke about what was going on in his personal life during an episode of Howie Mandel Does Stuff, 
During the course of that podcast, he revealed he's still living with Ariana because he can't afford to move out and doesn't have any friends he can stay with right now. Taking into consideration the fact that it's a pretty big house, Tom doesn't see a problem with this arrangement. The former couple has also enlisted an mediator as a go-between. The former couple also enlisted a mediator as a go-between to use when they want to communicate with one another. That being said, many of Ariana's friends aren't thrilled with this turn of events and want to see Tom vacate the premises immediately. Former Vanderpump Rules alum Kristen Dutz even tried to create space between the two of them, but Tom was adamant about staying in the home. Bottom line, these two both share ownership of the house, which means what happens next with the property is bound to take some time to sort out. But hey, at least we'll get a taste of what's going on behind closed doors when footage from this nasty breakup finally hits our TV screens during season 10 of Vanderpump Rules, which is airing right now. In the meantime, Ariana and Tom are going to have to continue surviving some very awkward moments. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching. And before you head off, do me a favor and answer this question. What's the maximum amount of time you could live under one roof with a partner you just separated from? Let me know if you could even last a week in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a video. My name's Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat. And if you'd like to check out a few more homes today, then keep watching.